In this video, we are going to talk about matrices, a special form which is of interest in the course of study. We know that matrices is one aspect of mathematics which is also very important to tackle. So in this video, everything is about matrices. What is a matrix then? So a matrix is a rectangular array. So when we talk about matrix they are rectangular array of numbers very simple rectangular array of what numbers so we can see a rectangular array of numbers in this form say a b c d e f let's say g h and and i this is a rectangular array of what? Numbers. These alphabets are just representing the various numbers and their positions. And we can denote a matrix by a capital letter, say A. So this is matrix A, and the members of the matrix are, are shown A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. These are the matrices. So, as we are going to learn more about matrices, we should know this. We have row and column when it comes to matrix. And from this matrix A, these are the rows, the horizontal components. The horizontal components are the rows, whilst the vertical components are the column. So, here we can see the A, B, and C as row, and we can see A, D, G as what? Our column. Are we okay? So, we now know what a row and a column mean. So, in matrix A, how many columns, how many rows do we have? We have row 1, we have row 2, and we have row three so we have number of rows as three and column we have column one column two and column three another column making what three so this matrix is three rows three columns are we okay for example if we have another matrix b in the form say one two and three four this is also a matrix let's count the number of rows and column we have this is row one this is row two so we have row to be two and this is column one this is column two so our column is also given as what two so this is a two by two matrix and this matrix is a three by three matrix are we okay all right so now let's see how we can list the members of a matrix say a from this form this we are going to always count or list the members as row first colon second row first colon second so if i'm going to write a matrix let's say a three by three matrix this row is going to be or we are going to have row this way and this is our column so we are going to number are we okay so let's assume these are the members of the matrix how do we identify them by the row and the column so this is row one this a is on row one and column one is that true and column one this is still on row two this is still on row one sorry and column two this is on row one column three looking at this this is on row two this is the second row, still the first column. 
this is on the second row and the second column this a is on the second row and the third column and this is on the third row and the first column so third row second column and on the third row the third column are we okay so this is the number so if i ask you point at a number at a c two three straight away you know that it is on row two column three so straight away you come you count the row this is the second row and the column one two three so this is the number as row two column three let's look at this matrix b having say four two five negative one which can be represented as this form here we can say this is a one one because this is the first row first column this five or let's say this two is still on the first row the second column this five is on the second row the first column and this negative one is on the second row the second column so four which is a one one is four first row first column four then first row second column is two and second row first column is five second row second column is negative one so with these parameters it will help you to be able to find your matrices so easily and to point the particular number we are referring to so this is how we list the members of a matrix so now let's look at how we can also know the order of the matrix so in most cases rows are represented by m and our columns are represented by letter n are we good so row number of rows the matrix is containing will be represented by m and the number of columns is going to be n so looking at this matrix how many rows does it have we always start with the row stick to one so the row i will say one two three so it has three rows and one two three a three column so this is m by n the order of this matrix is a three by three matrix are you okay a three by three matrix let's look at matrix b the row which is m it has one two so m is equal to two n which is the column one two n is also equal to two so the order of this matrix is a two row two column which is two by two matrix are we okay so you also know how to write for the order of a matrix now now are you okay now let's look at some other matrices so assuming i have this matrix as 12 4 2 and 7 as this matrix so what is the order of this matrix now yes go ahead our m by our n how many rows are there and how many columns are there we can see this is row one row two row three row four so our m is four but we only have one column as one so this is a four by one matrix that's the order of this matrix again let's see the order of this matrix if we have four one five let's say negative one five we have zero two four zero one 
and we have 3, 8, 4, 5, 2. What is the order of this matrix? So first, the order of the matrix, which is given by M, N. Where this is rows, this is colon, is going to be. Let's count the number of rows. We have row 1. This is row 2. And this is our third row. So we have three rows. How many columns? We have column 1, column 2, column 3, 4, and 5. And this is our column 5. So the order of this matrix is a 3 by 5 matrix, meaning three rows, five columns. Do not interchange them by saying five by three. No, this is still three rows or five rows, three columns. Always we assume the row first and the column second. So with this, we can also know the order of a matrix. Let's pay attention. A matrix in this form with only one column is called a column matrix. A column matrix. So a column matrix is a matrix with only one what? Column, such as this example, we have two zero. This is a column matrix. It's not a bracket, it's just, yes, this is a column matrix. So let's look at this two. We have a matrix in this form. 2480. What is the order of this matrix? How many rows? We have one row. So one row. How many columns? One, two, three, four by four. So our MN is one by four. Are we okay? So meaning this is a single row matrix. In such case, we call this as row matrices or a row matrix. A row matrix, meaning a matrix with only one row. If it is only one column, it is a column matrix. And if it is only one row, it is a row matrix. So this is an introduction to the course, and we are tackling matrices. Check out for the next episode. Let's dive deep.